How do refunds work with wire transfer? When you make a payment with a wire transfer for a service such as a mail out, consolidation, package split, or assisted purchase, and the service gets canceled, you will receive a credit in your Ship It To account. If you want to use this credit to complete a mail out or any other service, please use the credit in your Ship It To account. Otherwise, you can request a refund following the instructions. First, please log into your Ship It To account, and then you will need to open a support ticket and add a copy of your wire transfer receipt. In case you do not know how to open a support ticket, please watch the video in the description below. After you have created your support ticket, please go to the upper right hand corner and click My Account. Under Account Settings, click Account Deposit and then click Request Refund. This method will only work if you have a credit in your Ship It To account. Here is what you need to know before you request a refund. Please make sure you read and understand the refund rules. When you make a refund request, we will charge you a $32 USD wire transfer fee for each transaction plus a $5 USD administration fee. Your bank may also charge additional fees to receive the money. In the refund amount box, please add the amount you would like to request the refund for. In additional instructions, please add the ticket number with the information that you have attached to the wire transfer receipt. Ship It To will only complete this request if your wire transfer invoice matches the bank information you are going to provide to Ship It To. Please select the box I would like to receive my refund via wire transfer. And then then fill in all empty boxes with all the information required. Bank name. This is where you have your bank account. Bank address. This is the address of the local branch where you have your account. Swift routing number. This is the number that is assigned to your bank branch. If you do not know this, please contact your local bank. IBAN account number. This is the number assigned specifically to your bank account. Name on the account. This is the name on your bank account. Address on account. This is the mailing address you have registered your bank account with. Please check it to make sure all details are accurate. In case the wire transfer invoice does not match with the information you gave to us, the request will be denied. After you have reviewed everything, then click Submit Request. Our payment team will have up to five business days to review your refund request. Once it is approved, our bank will issue the refund and this process can take up to three weeks to be completed. If you still have questions, please contact our support team. Thank you for watching. Please share this video, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and see you next time.